What's up ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Warden here. Today I'm gonna to do something that I've never done before and that is attempt to utilize the Create Rack React app. Create React app? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's basically a way to create a React application very quickly and you don't have to set up Webpack or any of the components for compiling the build system. It's all there for you and it's created by Facebook. And it seems to, on Twitter, get a lot of positive press. So I wanted to give it a spin. I've been in Angular world forever. I've actually been in Python for three months. So I wanted to give it a spin tonight. And I looked at the site for about five seconds. So you're going to see me use it for the first time. And we'll see how far we can get. It's kind of late at night, but I still got energy. So let's try it out and see how far I get. I'm gonna, I think it's create react, react app. All right, so it wants me to install it globally. Okay, I can do that. Well, why is this here if this is here? Okay, TLDR, got it. I'm a TLDR guy, even though I have a big mouth. Let's go, whoa, and caps, bro. Let's go to desktop. And make a dir. Actually, let's follow the instructions <laughs> so I don't <laughs> mess it up. Okay, that was pretty quick. And do this thing. Okay. Can you do that? While it's running, I'll. Okay, so just want me to npm start. I can do that. And then open that. Okay. Not bad. While this is installing, I want to point out I've never actually seen. The Create React app, uh, the last time I played with React was about, I don't know, a year ago for a job interview. They wanted you to build a React app from scratch, and I hadn't played with the ES6 version of React. I just played with the ES5 or 3 or something. And it was pretty fun, but um, at the time I was pretty heavily oop-focused. So now that I have more functional bent, I'm curious to see how it works. That's a lot of packages. What in God's name is it doing? Okay, npm start. So npm start, npm build, puts production build. Oh, that's pretty rad. And dependencies for run inject. Okay, so let's do, if you do this, you can't go back. <laughs> that's awesome. I just want to run it to see what happens. Uh, okay, <laughs> let's do npm start instead. Nope, that didn't work at all. But it said happy hacking. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, let's maybe we should try again. Npm install. Oh wait, I gotta cd the directory. Where where am I? Cd my app. Okay. Npm start. There we go. Ooh, and it all opens this time. Very impressive. Ooh, and it spins. That's pretty sick. How do they do the spin? Oh, it's SVG. Look at that. It's like tween JS or something going cray. Look at those numbers. They be spinning. Riding spinners. I'm riding spinners. You don't stop. Well, actually, it does stop because I Apple W. All right, so let's see. What else can this thing do? When you're ready to deploy, it does a minified. I like that. Node 5. Yeah, dude, I have like Node 7. We're good. In the directory, npm start. What kind of framework does it? Whoa. Okay. Holy fish. Uh. Framework? <laughs> Is there a framework in here? No. Okay. Let's go take a look at the code. Maybe there's some something interesting there we could uh, take a look at. Let's go to desktop my app. There it is. Take a gander in the source. App.js. Okay, so it's got a basic React app. Ooh, there's the logo. And extends component. By the way, if you've never seen React before, they put everything in JavaScript, which I like a lot. This is something called JSX, which is basically JavaScript HTML, and they parse it and do DOM diffing, and it's really cool and really fast, really easy to read, and CSS is still a pain in the neck. <laughs> you still gotta do these crazy objects. But it's pretty cool, I'm impressed. So I can create my own components in here. Let's see. They got unit tests for it. What are they what are they using for unit tests? How do I do tests? Let's let's do tests. Let's see if it works. So I'm an Apple, I'm sorry, control C once or twice. There we go. NPM test. Let's see what this thing does. 
Not bad. P to filter by name, Q to quit watch. Oh, it's in watch mode. Very impressive. Yeah, Facebook has got some game. Game, guys. All right. Pretty simple React app. Let's see if we can create a component. Let's see how. It's been a, about a year since I messed React, maybe more. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. File save. Cow. Go to source in cow.js. And I forget all the um, components I'm supposed to use. Let's get rid of these guys. I want to render a div. It says move shuckle. Sorry. There we go. We got our div. This is a move component. Actually, it's a cow component. Sorry. I'm going to copy this out. And let's see if we can import it. Import. Cal, is that a default export? I didn't look. Yes, it is. Okay. Import cow from cow. So far, so good. Let's go back to npm build or run or test or <laughs> I forget the commands. What was it again? npm something something? Goodness gracious. Start. I just did a tutorial on this yesterday. <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> the default node. That's pretty funny. All right. So we got this. Let's see if I can do. Inside to get started, let's do my cow component. Let's see if that works. Okay, built successfully. Man, what's up? React is so easy. Facebook is awesome. I'm very impressed. Cool, let's see what the build does. So I'm gonna run VM run build. Pretty fast, not bad. Let's go take a look. That's the public. Let's go take a look at the build and then we'll find her and see what she generates. We got our favicon on. I wonder if they do any compression on the CSS. A ride in a map. Very impressive, guys. Very nice. Not bad, not bad. 150K, I'm down. I'm an ex Flash developer, so this is nothing. Cool. I'm, I'm impressed, Facebook. This is very nice. I got to figure out how to do plugins for this thing so we could add Redux to this. But this, being able to just add a class right off the bat and use ES6 syntax, very, very impressed. So well done, Facebook. So that was very impressive. In two minutes, I had a working React app with all my dependencies working locally with the ability to do a production build. In an additional minute, after running my mouth and remembering how to create React after a year, I created my own component in the ES6 syntax and it automatically refreshed the screen. That is very impressive. So well done, Facebook. Good job. I'm very impressed. And if you're interested in doing a React application, I definitely recommend to check this out. This is way more slick than some of the Yeoman generators I've seen in the past. So I don't know what they're using to generate this or what unit testing framework they're using, but very impressive. I would highly encourage you to look at some of the frameworks out there for React, such as Redux or others. This is good for starting, but if you're going to scale to something larger, you definitely want to look into some of the frameworks out there. But either way, very impressed. So that's that's me never seeing the website before using Create React App. So if I can do that in you know two minutes, I think you guys can definitely do it in a lot of times. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope that was fun. It was fun for me.